welcome to our class on uh, monsoons el nino la nina and enso before uh, uh, we understand what is the uh, indian monsoon and uh, how this uh, el nino la nina enso so they are, these are going to affect uh, our monsoonal rains uh, i would like to uh, enlighten you on uh, the importance of indian monsoon indian monsoon is a life for innumerable farmers not only in india the indian monsoon affects part of asia okay so what is monsoon how the southwest monsoon how the northeast monsoon uh, the mechanism of the you know so uh, occur just i would like to explain to you see for example take uh, monsoon we are going to discuss first monsoon uh, both uh, southwest monsoon and northeast monsoon okay right uh, this is indian subcontinent okay india okay for example this is india this is the eastern side this is the western side this is the southern side is the northern side okay right so uh, <clears throat> during the months of uh, march april may there is uh, a low pressure developed uh, over uh, indian subcontinent uh, particularly on the land area of india okay this is indian subcontinent okay this is again the subcontinent now see these are the himalayas right so india the land mass of india because of intense heat of the summer during the months of march april may the land area of the land mass of india gets warmed up very intensely and a low pressure is developed in the north western part of india as compared to bay of bengal in the eastern side arabian sea on the southern side indian ocean on the western side as compared to so there is a high pressure over indian ocean uh, arabian arabian sea here here is the arabian sea this is the indian ocean okay right arabian sea indian ocean bay bengal now the pressure gradient is uh, from sea areas to land mass of india why because during the months of march april may the land gets heated up quicker as compared to water because land is solid and then uh, here uh, you have water and everything so the rays penetrate sun rays penetrate into the water takes a lot of time the the way in which you know uh, land bridges and sea bridges occur okay sea bridges occur during the day time okay because land gets warmed up uh, quicker so there is a low pressure over the land during the land and sea bridges also that's why the land and sea bridges are uh, also known as uh, diurnal monsoons the way in which land and sea bridges occur similarly the uh, southwest monsoon northeast monsoon also occurs now see the earth moves uh, as the earth goes on moving the pressure gradient between the land and the sea areas uh, goes on this is the equator the equator so as the rotation of the earth takes place the winds from surface areas of arabian sea indian ocean bay of bengal start entering into uh, the because of the pressure gradient so the warm moist winds please note that warm moist winds enter start entering approximately first week preferably first or second of june to September 15th rotational movement of the earth okay causes warm and moist winds 
warm moist winds start to enter into the land areas of food. this is the western ghats as far as india is concerned this is the eastern ghats area so as the rotation of the earth goes you know it like this like this like this like this okay so by 15th july the warm moist winds enter the land area these are uh, predominantly from southern side this is the western side this is the western side this is the southern side so there are two branches the bay of bengal branch the arabian sea branches are there the arabian sea branch enters from the western ghats and uh, uh, bay of bengal branch and enters up to okay the gangetic plains gangetic plains indo gangetic plains okay indo gangetic plains this is how the southwest monsoon mechanism takes warm moist winds and approximately 80 to 90% of the rainfall in the indian subcontinent is from southwest monsoon so uh, the differential heating of uh, this is the mechanism the differential heating of uh, land and ocean areas now this is uh, the thermal concept proposed by haller so okay the word monsoon is derived from mausim uh, meaning the season okay the of the several concepts so the aerological concept the fronts concept the halle concept that's what i have explained to you uh, is one of the prominent concepts uh, which is uh, widely accepted uh, by scientists uh, across the globe okay right so this is how the south west monsoon and exactly reverse happens uh, during the month of uh, september 15th to say the end of december in some books you will find uh, even up to february what happens is that exactly reverse happens see this is the indian uh, uh, subcontinent indian subcontinent this is the indian subcontinent in the indian subcontinent uh, this is the landmass okay here instead of low pressure there is a high pressure develop is the high pressure develop why there is a high pressure develop during the months of september october november september october say for example up to november it extends up to december 15th september now why because the land was gets heated up uh, during the month of march april may exactly reverse happens during the month land was gets up a uh, cold once it is cold there is a high pressure developer preferably in this area only so other areas are also having high pressure now there is a low pressure this is the arabian sea branch okay western side indian ocean okay in the uh, southern side bay of bengal okay in the eastern side this is the northern side now there is a pressure gradient between the high pressure areas of the land india uzbekistan tajikistan uh, arashia and uh, for tibet uh, all these areas so from the uh, northern side towards the eastern side this is the eastern side from the northern side this is the northern side this is the northern side so from the northern side the winds start entering india on which days september 15th to december end it why because the indian subcontinent uh, land mass has high pressure relatively low pressure is existing over the uh, oceanic areas bay of bengal indian ocean arabian sea since uh, the predominantly north eastern side winds are blowing uh, this is called as the north east monsoon here the winds are cold and dry which will come like this you know cold and dry winds are the characteristic winds of north east monsoon warm moist winds are the characteristic features of the south west monsoon which i explained a couple of minutes back so these are the uh, due to north east monsoon indian subcontinent gets 15 to maybe maximum 10 to 15% or maximum 20% of the rainfall particularly the entire uh, india 
in Andhra Pradesh, you know, Nellore, Chittor, uh, Tamil Nadu, most of Tamil Nadu gets uh, rain due to north east monsoon because uh, there is a high pressure here, there is a low pressure here. Now, here I would like to impress upon you what is, uh, I would like to uh, discuss with you what is El Nino, what is La Nina, what is Enso, what is its impact, what is a uh, combined impact of uh, these uh, uh, global climatic patterns okay, on Indian monsoon. Now, see, the Indian subcontinent uh, has, uh, uh, is endowed with uh, wonderful or uh, systematic uh, uh, boom, uh, systematic boom, okay, that is the monsoon, southwest monsoon, northeast monsoon. They are affected by three things here. Uh, number one, El Nino. Second one is La Nina. The third one is Anso. So, what is El Nino? It's a Spanish word. El Nino means uh, uh, a, a boy, ch ch change. So, that is the meaning of it. What happens during the months of uh, uh, El Nino happening uh, on the Indian subcontinent? Okay, what happens? Just before that, uh, the El Nino is a global, presume that this is Australia, okay, this is the equator, equator, this is the equator, this is the eastern side, this is the western side, okay, now, so uh, somewhere here uh, India is there, somewhere here India. Now, so this is the Southern America, that is, uh, uh, this is the Northern America, Canada, Canada, Northern America, Southern America. Here it is Brazil, Venezuela, Peru, Chile, Argentina, okay, this is all the thing. This is the Pacific Ocean, Pacific Ocean, here is the Pacific Ocean. So, what happens is, uh, near the equator, climatic patterns uh, change uh, regularly. The first thing what you should know about the El Nino is uh, it is uh, warming of uh, surface uh, waters of a uh, Pacific Ocean near the equator. In other words, equatorial, uh, tropical, equatorial, tropical. This is the Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn in between. So, tropical, uh, equatorial, uh, Pacific, uh, area gets warmed up, warmed up, unusually warmed up. This is what we call it as the El Nino. El Nino means, you know, uh, a boy, a child boy. That is the meaning of a child boy, El Nino. This is uh, named by, of course, uh, in the history you will find uh, so many words, so much of it. But El Nino means unusual warming of surface waters of Tropic, I mean, equatorial, this is equatorial region, equatorial, tropical, eastern parts of the uh, globe, that is particularly Pacific Ocean. Now, here what happens is, I told in uh, the basic, please subscribe to my channel, agrometer of the farmers and rural government, there I explain to you what are the trade winds, what are the, trade winds are also known as uh, tropical easterlies. Uh, uh, Anti-trade winds are also known as uh, prevailing westerlies. This I had explained to you. They are in the basics. These are the basics: monsoon, El Nino, La Nina, and so basics we are discussing. The El Nino event uh, occurring uh, years uh, are anywhere between two to seven years. They occur in a cycle. Uh, the La Nina, of course, uh, approximately every three years or maximum five years once it will occur. The El Nino is the unusual warming of surface waters of equatorial tropical equatorial pacific ocean areas prefer prefer particularly the eastern side okay so what it happens is uh, what it causes uh, is uh, because uh, the water got heated up uh, phytoplankton 
do plankton and uh, nutrient water which is supposed to uh, occur in cyclic way for the diving birds for the fish uh, even for that matter very calm and then very perfect winds uh, uh, it will not happen. Usually, the trade winds uh, are the basis. Uh, again, I would like to say, suppose there are trade winds, anti trade winds, uh, uh, polar, uh, of course, you know, uh, horse latitudes, uh, polar highs, uh, these are all uh, affected by the El Nino year. El Nino year, what happens? The trade winds become weaker. First point, uh, first to know about uh, El Nino is uh, it is a climatic pattern that occurs in the uh, uh, Indian sub, uh, this in between uh, okay eastern side and the western side because the uh, southern America and Pacific Ocean areas are the eastern side okay so in during the Elino years the trade winds become very weak first trade winds become weak so it impacts uh, enormously on uh, Indian monsoon and the the Elino years are going to be the drought years uh, as far as Indian subcontinent is concerned and monsoon effect. What is exactly La Nina? Exactly, reverse happens. La Nina. So it is a cooling effect near the equatorial western side. Equatorial, this is the equatorial eastern side. Equatorial western side of southern America. So unusually cooling occurs. That's what we call it as the La Nina. Girl child, that's what they call it as in the history, it is a Spanish word. Really, you know, La Nina are the Spanish words. And uh, during this exact reverse happened, during the Elino years, uh, equatorial or uh, tropical, equatorial uh, Pacific regions, tropical, equatorial, western, southern uh, America, western region of uh, southern America, it is cool, it is warm, it is cool. Uh, here, during the Elino years, uh, the trade winds become weaker. During the La Nina, the trade winds become much stronger than the usual. Okay, so this causes more than the average rainfall over Indian subcontinent to the Indian monsoon. So, another important thing as far as the La Nina is concerned, during the La Nina years, the surface waters of Pacific Ocean near the southern uh, America becomes cooler and the phytoplankton, the zooplankton and uh, the uh, nutrient water upwelling we call it as upwelling that means you know the movement of uh, mo most of the movement of most of the zooplankton phytoplankton and nutrient water in a balanced way they will come but during the La Nina years more will come during the uh, Elino years they will less come what is now ENSO what is ENSO ENSO is uh, Elino southern oscillation southern oscillation southern oscillation means uh, Elino La Nina Elino is a warm phase of the climatic pattern La Nina is a cool uh, climatic pattern near the equatorial region, Cap, uh, uh, Capricorn and the Cancer, Cancer and Capricorn. Okay, right. Yelly Enso is uh, considered to be neutral here during which the trade winds will be normal. The phytoplankton, the zooplankton, the uh, enriched water with the nutrients, uh, they enter enormously into the system and then it's uh, they are considered to be very, very good monsoon or uh, you can say aqua monsoon conditions occur during the ENSO. ENSO means yellow, you know, southern oscillation. So the cool and dry, okay, the cool and dry of the surface waters of the Pacific Ocean will be very normal during these years. Uh, again, I would like to give you very interesting thing. Actually, the sky has uh, only one character, sound. The air has got uh, two characters of S, uh, sound and sensitivity. Sound and sense. When wind is blowing, we feel it sensor. Okay. The sky has yes, only one S, that is the sound. The air has got two S. The sound and the sensitivity, the fire has got three uh, S, uh, sound, sense and shape is there. The uh, water has got uh, three S's, that is the sound, 
the sense, the shape, plus uh, there is a uh, taste for it, a tea, taste for water, a water taste is there. Now, the land has a uh, 5, 4s plus uh, 1, yeah, uh, 4, another s is added to the land. What is that? The land has the sound, the sense, the shape, the taste and smell is there. Smell. Okay. Land has got five characters. What are those? The uh, sound, the sense, the shape, the taste and the smell. So four S are there. Human beings are uh, animals or for that matter crops have all these five characters. That's why I am able to stand on the little of uh, the height of this uh, uh, troposphere. Why? How? I am? Because troposphere is the uh, land. Okay. Uh, I am. I am in the troposphere only. So, because my five characters are there with the land, I am able to stand. But if I go and then stand in the water, I cannot because it has uh, one less characters. I cannot go in the stand in the sky because I have five characters. Sky has only one character of the sound. Okay. So why I am telling is uh, either Indian monsoons or El Nino, La Nina or Enso, they are the ocean, specific ocean for each aspect, ocean, land, atmospheric circulation, they burn, they grow, they die. So usually, uh, once in uh, two to seven years, uh, the genesis takes place, the growth takes place, the death takes place for the El Nino. Similarly, approximately once in three years, maybe once in five years, La Nina takes place. La Nina is the cool phase, El Nino is the warm phase, and so is the neutral phase. So, because of the interaction of land, land, water and atmosphere, these will occur. So, this is what for our today's class. This is the basics of the advances of impact of uh, Elino, Lana, and so on Indian monsoon. Before that, uh, we try to understand what is Indian monsoon basics. Thank you very much. Make out this show.